Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. It is around 8 o'clock. I just got up. I already sound better. Um, I still have my cough, but um, I essentially slept probably 6.30 p.m. till now, off and on, um, but good sleep. Uh, it feels like a little, a little relief. <laughs> I say that just as I start coughing, but I am feeling so much better. Um, I am going to go and start this day. I need to go get groceries and things like that. Um, and I'm going to do it early so I can get home and rest. Um, I'm going to wear a mask while I'm out, but I've been on antibiotics now since Tuesday is when I got them and started taking them. So I'm no longer infectious, but I'm still going to wear a mask just to make other people feel comfortable, especially if I still have a cough. But I need to show you something. I'm wearing one of my merch items, and this is the Practicing Elf Care. I actually buy my merch. I just make it because you guys have requested it, but I need to show you the other ones that I got because I love, love, love it. This one was a very strong contender to wear today. It says too cool. I love it so much. And then this one I really, really love. Well, I love all of them. Joy, Peace, and Wine, and it has the mulled wine and Christopher Allen. But the practicing elf care seemed like a like a good one. So I am going to get ready. Love a Lululemon hat. And then this Ponte coat. It's like a wrapped wool coat from Gap. Uh, it it is incredible. I got it in a tall. It runs oversized. Um, it's so good. I just love it. And it's double-breasted, so I couldn't find the exact coat that I wanted. So I ended up going on um, the Gap women's side of outerwear. And they had this double-breasted wool coat. What I wanted was I didn't want one that was lined. I wanted one that was thin that like I could layer sweaters underneath and not get too hot, but also wear a t-shirt underneath when it's unseasonably 50 degrees in upstate New York. Um, but yeah, I love it. It has a belt. It's just a perfect coat. I got it in this color in gray and it is incredibly on sale. So I will link it. They had have it in like regular sizes as well, but I just got the tall um, I got it in an extra large, and it's fantastic, and it has like a slit in the sleeve. The sleeves are perfectly long enough, um, and yeah, I love it so, so much. And then I'm just going to wear a pair of Nikes. These are like my go-to Nikes. These are the Air, I don't even know what they're called. I'm not good with tennis shoes. They're the Air 270s. I have them in black. I have them in white. Those are my go-tos. To show you how good the length is, that's with my arm bent. Like, the sleeve length is so good. So, jewelry today is a mix of high and low. Some word project. These gold beads are from Nordstrom. This charm is a little high-end. I'll link it, but it would make such a cute gift. I just love it. It, like, nestles into the band. And then rings are super... Reasonable from Bobble Bar. Nothing fancy. Just wanted something simple. I have some really, really good pieces of jewelry that I will mix in. I have some Cartier, um, some Tiffany, like things like that. But I just like a mix, and I don't think you have to spend a lot. But this year, I've really tried to push myself to wear more color and like dress the way I want and accessorize the way I want. And I have really, really enjoyed it. But um, one of my favorite things has been like throwing on like a dressier coat with like jeans and sneakers and just like rocking it. But yeah, um, we're gonna get moving. I feel like a new human today. I found the camera I wanna film on today. Um, so here we go. This is my current cell phone look. Um, this is from Amazon. I'll link it. It's stretchy, but I had to like 
use some of my own clamps to make it the right length. This is from a store called Designs with Celine. She repurposes old Louis Vuittons. And then just my phone case. So we are ready to rock and roll. Oh my gosh, I just feel like a new human being. I've also discovered, oh, this is also by Designs by Celine. It's my Starbucks cup. It's so extra, but so great. It's my Starbucks cup sleeve. But um, I've discovered that this wallet is probably my favorite wallet I've ever purchased. Um, I am not a card holder person. I'm actually going to sell a bunch of my card holders. I just need to know if I should post them on Instagram or how I should get rid of them. But I have like so many Louis Vuitton, YSL card holders. It's not my style. This, the Victorine from uh, Louis Vuitton, this is the size I like. And then I'm also going to probably sell some of my long wallets, except my Hermes Kelly wallet and Dagon wallet. I love those two pieces, but this is my go-to. So if you're interested in some card holders and some wallets coming up for sale, give me suggestions below how to sell them. All right, I'm gonna blow my nose one more time, make sure I have Kleenex, because everything is like draining. Um, and then we're gonna hit the road. I find a car wash so relaxing and soothing. Um, oh my gosh, I just feel like a new human today. Last night was like, I think like the final breakthrough. And I think it was all the sleep I gave myself last night. My friends, I miss the days of like vlogging in my car and just having like car chats. For the life of me in this car, I cannot find a good camera setup. During this season, I always think about like where my theme for next year is going to come. And I was at Michael's and I fell in love with this ribbon. And this ribbon is going to be the jumping off point for 2024 Christmas. I love it. So there's your sneak peek. I am home and what I will say is the way I felt this morning versus how I'm feeling once moving around is very different. I'm going to get some things put away and then I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then we'll catch up. Um, yeah, moving around definitely is hit a little different, but I'll see you in a little bit. So I was sitting and resting for a bit and now I pulled that greenery off that I had here because it was so dry. I mean, I have not replaced it and that was before Thanksgiving. So Trader Joe's while I was there had really big, really nice fresh bundles of greenery for $3.99. Um, that's just like a price you cannot beat um, for the clippings. So I bought three of them, thinking like one for each side. But now that I have it, I might be able to get by with one for both. So while I'm doing that, I just have Alex, Alex's Vlogmas playing. She has always been so kind when we've chatted, um, and I've always appreciated how kind she is. Um, so yeah, oh, I really do think two of these is, I mean, all right, I have to work with both hands. Let me get this situated. All right. I mean, the stingrays really don't go, but I replaced the greenery. It's so nice, it's nice and fresh and green. And I just like how it like brings the two trees together. I'm so happy with this year. And I love this tree setup. Also lots of questions about the fiddle leaf fig. Steven actually researched like cutting it down because it was getting way too large. Um, and we want some more branches to grow off, but it's doing really well. It's actually in the same, essentially the same positioning as the window on the other side. So it's still doing really well. He, on the other hand, having a bit of an episode like he had a few weeks ago where he can't use his back legs and he like kind of is stumbling. He's getting around now, um, but I mean, 17 years old. Right, Bubby? Right, Bubbas? Just take it easy today.
We'll take it easy. And then I did find, and I think I'm going to go for it, this soft silver. Oh, it's really hard to see. But this soft silver. Um, it's more like an ashy blonde. It's called, well, it's called soft silver blonde. I might give it a go. And if it doesn't work, I'll just go buy another ash blonde and turn my hair back. But I really want to do it. So we're probably going to do that today. I am preparing to do something on the banister. This year, I don't want to run something the whole way up. I want to just do like an end cap swag. And I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> so I have all of these garlands that are not great. I mean, I have one nice one. So like this one is really nice, but I only have one of them. So I need to like get creative in how I'm going to do this. Um, I have two that are pre-lit, which is nice. I'm not working with a huge space. This is probably mm, four feet. So I'm definitely going to get Okay, it still works. Good. Um, and I need to make sure it's laying enough on the ground that I have enough slack to cover everything. All right. I'm going to get, and I use just zip ties when I work on my banister. It's just so much easier. Um, all right, let me, let me get these two lit ones on and then see what I'm going to do. I'm a little perplexed. This is right after those two garland. I'm actually not mad at it and it kind of is giving me an idea. I don't think I'll even use these two. So what I'm thinking, let me get my bearings. What I'm thinking is I want to make it a little bit bigger at the top. So hold on, let me set this down. All right. So I love an asymmetrical look, as you know, from our fireplace. Oh, it feels good to be able to talk. I just needed to rest a little bit more. I think I just need to move and then rest, move and then rest. Um, but uh, I like asymmetrical. So I want it to be a little bit heavier here and then taper off down the bottom. So I have this um, front side down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. If you look here, I have about a good foot and a half probably that I can fold on itself to make it a little bit heavier at the top. And then I'm going to use my zip ties and wire it in and then I'm going to weave the lit garland through it. So folding about a foot and a half down to make it a little top heavy and then we'll add the add it into it just by wiring it in. This is where I'm at now and it looks really, really good. Super happy with it. Um, some of the advice I give, always just merge old scraggly garlands together and build up something really nice. But the way you have to do it is you have to make sure, and this took some time, to really weave and incorporate all of the pieces or it just doesn't land as like one cohesive garland and it definitely does look like it's pieced together. So I really went in and like weaved the pieces in with each other, which then gave it this beautiful, beautiful shape. I actually really love the wispiness at the top. Couple other things that I had up in my gift wrapping closet. These little gold flowers I thought could be a really nice touch nestled in. But I showed you this in the car. This ribbon is like my inspiration ribbon for next year. And I kind of want to work with it today just on this one little thing. But, I mean, that still works. I want to make sure, it just feels weird that I would introduce a new ribbon. 
but I really want to. What if we introduce the ribbon for next year as like just a fun little Easter egg, if you will. All right, let me see what I end up doing. I really want to do it. Just do it. So who cares? I'm going to do it because I want to. Oh, I think people get like nervous when working with ribbon. A, it's expensive to make mistakes with. I have never paid full price for ribbon. I will always buy my ribbon this time of year for next year. And then I just keep piles of it in bins in my closet because I use it for gift wrapping and everything. And when I get good ribbon, I always save it. But here's my thing. Don't be intimidated. There are ways you can work with ribbon that aren't so scary, and that's what we're going to do. And you see I have a huge ribbon mess. But what we're going to do is we're gonna build out a cascade. I am actually not the biggest fan of bows. I like more like drapey and texture. So we have like our focal ribbon, and I prefer to work, I prefer to work on a carpet. The reason I always do my ribbon on a carpet is it grabs a little bit more and it holds the ribbon in place. So I'm going to lay this face up. And now it's all about textures and layers. I have this beautiful shiny green. So this ribbon, my focal ribbon is like a matte finish. So I knew I needed something with like a satin finish. And then I also have it in this rich, pretty blue. Then I had these two ribbons that are just like this long, beautiful, drapey green and blue as well. And I'm not even worrying about like ends lining up because I'm gonna cut them all at different lengths anyway. And then I have this blue velvet and then lastly, you need something to bring in like the Christmas sparkle. And this ribbon actually twirls very well as well. So, all right. And then all I need are zip ties. And I'm gonna sit you down and show you what I do next. I'm gonna kind of sit myself down now in the center. And I'm not gonna be too precious, but the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to work. I'm not going to overthink. Do this. And you'll, like, I'm only worrying about this little center piece. And then there. So I have them all face up. And now, like, I'm gonna just accordion pinch them. So when I fold it in half like this, all my fronts are still facing front. And then I like a zip tie over florist wire for something like this, because it just lets you get it really, really snug because you want all of these to stay in place. At this like dramatic ribbon piece I have. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is just tucking that in and then I'll show you what I do next. All right, now I really did go in with my florist wire and wire this in. I have a long piece that I have to snip off at the end, but there we go. Now, my satin ribbons and those velvet thin ribbons don't have wire in them, so the only ones I can really work with curling is the focal ribbon and then this gold. So I am gonna go in and add some waves and some curls, and I make sure to curl them in opposite directions. Some people make <laughs> the mistake of curling all the same way. So then your ribbons will lay the same way. So with this one, I'm gonna to curl to the right, which means when I curl on this side, I need to make sure I'm going to the left. So always curl in opposite directions. I just use usually two to three fingers and then pull it. Um, and then I'll start cutting and determining varying lengths. After I get this all set up, I'll show you how it looks at the end. All right, so I am all done. Very, very happy with it. I will continue to play with some of the ribbons a little bit as I get them situated, but right now, really, really liking it. Hold on one second. I say that, sorry, you're looking at the ceiling. I say that as I wanna like fix something.
there. All right, now I'm really, really happy with this. And I know it doesn't necessarily go with this year's theme, but allow this to be like our little Easter egg for next year. And I've never done that before. So this is our little glimpse to 2024 Christmas, but I'm really happy with it. I also love the idea and I might end up doing something similar there. I love the end idea of like end cap swags. That way your banister is still like completely useful and not completely covered up. Really love this. Really, really, really like it. In other news, I'm just going for it. I mean, my hair it has never been super sensitive um, to dye. So if it doesn't turn out, I'll go get some ash blonde and throw it in and call it a day. It says to leave in for 25 minutes. I'm only going to do 15 and rinse it out and wherever it is, it is. But I mean, you live once. If it doesn't happen, it's just hair. So good news, after 15 minutes, <laughs> there was really no difference. Um, luckily my hair is so short that I still had some left. So I am doing another 10 minutes with a little bit more on and rinsing it. And what it is, is it is. But really there was no difference at all. Um, I mean, it was less brassy, but my hair color still looked essentially the same. So we're gonna do 10 minutes and then rinse it out and where it is, it is. And we'll see if we see any little hints of gray is what I'm going for. While I was doing that though, two packages did come. Scarf from Free People. It's like these knotted tassels at the end. So pretty. I have been wanting to get my hands on a really good set of cashmere fingerless gloves. I don't love a um, full glove or a mitten. I really do love a fingerless glove. And they had at Nordstrom's these 100% cashmere, so they'll be super breathable. Um, I can't wait to slide them on real quick. Yes, I love these. And I also love when our wrist goes up high so that your coat sleeve covers it completely. Oh, these are so nice. I'll link them. I think they came in this color and in uh, gray, but really, really like them. Oh my gosh, they feel so good. Some orange slices to this, which I think has helped it connect and tie together a little bit more. I really am excited about how this, like the overall look of it though. Yeah, I think I might make a cup of tea. This has been getting me through the Bigelow uh, lemon and ginger tea. So I might make a cup of tea. I got some fresh honey, but like I just, just no appetite. I also, see, I also think I'm just going to uh, kind of wrap up this vlog for the day um, and then rest and then feel even a little bit better tomorrow. I will sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, bye-bye.